Okay, so for the benzene, we've got the delta H of vaporization, that's how many kJs per mole. Now we want to know the volume, we've got the temperature, we've got the pressure, and we've got the energy at this volume. Okay, so this is just a constant right here. These are the numbers just added. So this is the energy added into the system, given for this molecule has this constant. Okay? So we see all this. Which way do you think you're led? What, kind, what formula are we going to go? What's that? Yeah, early. That's a nice gimme in most situations, especially you've got pressure, you got temperature. There's no, not much else you can do. It's just going to be one little funny thing on this one. So volume is nRT over P. So let's skip N for a second. That's the weird one. So there's some N. I'll skip N. I'll do it backwards. T is 298 Kelvin. R, same R as before, 0.08. 206. So there's R and T. I'll do N in just a second. P, 95.1 millimeters mercury. And we've got always, when we have the ideal gas law, convert to atmospheres per pressure. So we've got 760 millimeters of mercury for every one atmosphere. So hopefully that part, except for the N, looks totally normal if you remember anything from chapter six. Okay? You just plug and chug for those parts. N here is just a little funky. What they're saying is you have 1.54 kilojoules. I'm going to convert that to moles given the delta H of vaporization. So flip this number over there. One mole for every 33.9 kilojoules. So you can see the kilojoules cancel. And you're left with moles. So that's it. The moles is the weird one. Uh, basically, they're saying you got this conversion factor and so many kilojoules, so you convert that to moles, given the energy. Usually, in your average question, it's the reverse. They'll give you this and the number of moles, and then you find the energy. In this case, they give you both energies and you find the moles. Any questions?